Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to, well, a new game, a new old game, in fact. Uh, uh, there, you know, since I did my uh, uh, 1075 uh, difficulty uh, playthrough, uh, there's been a new uh, uh, release of uh, Surviving Mars, uh, which you uh, call Below and Beyond. Now, the initial release was riddled with uh, show-stopping bugs, uh, but I've just uh, been playing through uh, the uh, with it uh, the past week or so, and it uh, looks like uh, the worst of the showstoppers are sorted. There are still issues, uh, but uh, given that they've worked on uh, the existing ones uh, a little bit now uh, and uh, released patches, I think there's a, a good chance that the remaining... Uh, major issues will get fixed. Um, I know that uh, there was uh, one major bug uh, that kept me from uh, even attempting this was uh, that the uh, max uh, disasters settings uh, basically led to no disasters at all. And uh, that, um, that was... Um, uh, something uh, I get, uh, Pravis uh, finally uh, managed to get a save game that the devs could use to uh, uh, to track it, and uh, that got sorted out. So now I'm going to give it a shot on a max difficulty run. Uh, now, um, so we'll just do a new game. Uh, now, uh, all the settings for max difficulty are still the same. Um, here, let me put me over there. Um, right. Uh, okay. Uh, the the settings are still uh, this basically the same. Uh, we need to use uh, Paradox uh, Interactive as the sponsor. We need to use the Futurist um, uh, profile. Uh, uh, we're going to go with the Don't Panic logo, uh, just because you know. Don't panic. I'm going to go with... Uh, um, as you can see, uh, I've done most of the... Uh, I've done all the hard mysteries. Um, now, I could do um, The Last War. Uh, that one is kind of interesting. Um, and it's uh, not that... Not really, it's not really as difficult as uh, one might think, especially when we're going max difficulty because uh, we don't have the, um, uh, I, I, we don't have as much reliance on Earth uh, because we can't get people from there, right? Um, uh, Mars Gate, uh, Wildfire, is a little too on the nose, I think. So I'm not, that's basically COVID, right? Uh, and Metatron, uh, Metatron is, if you don't know how it plays out, it's gonna sink you. But if you know what, you, what it is, and you know how to uh, get everything built up ridiculously before, uh, before Metatron arrives. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad to deal with, but I'm going to go with The Last War. Um, it's... Uh, uh, it does have some uh, aspects that can uh, complicate things, uh, but uh, by the time we get to triggering the mystery, uh, we'll likely either have made or broken the game. So. Uh, I'm going to go with no uh, rivals. Why no rivals? Well, if we have no rivals, then I can't just uh, quickly uh, beeline a Martian university, train up six officers, and then recruit colonists from, uh, from other colonies. Uh, and uh, that could actually break the game. That could sink us. Um, now, that doesn't change the difficulty level. Uh, now, it, it does have the advantage that we won't be beat to any of the milestones early on. So, 
uh, you know, it helps us a little bit with science, but it doesn't help that much, and it um, it definitely means we can't trade for resources or whatever from anybody. Now we need to select active plate tectonics, and we need to select all of these ones down here, all the way up to uh, our, uh, up to amateurs. Okay, uh, and I'm going to go for tech variety. Um, uh, so that we don't you know, get guaranteed uh, um, um, situations uh, like, like the the uh, it won't be clear exactly where in the uh, tech uh, tree the various techs will be. Um, it doesn't affect the difficulty level rating. Uh, it, it really doesn't, uh, but it makes things, then it also randomizes the uh, breakthroughs on the map, uh, I believe. Uh, so that takes us to nine, to 990. Uh, okay. Um, now, um, we're going to rename the colony to... Um, Uh, I don't know. Um, well, well, that that is a, a question. I should have thought of this before I started, right? Um, we could just call it our colony, right? Um, but maybe. Uh, um, maybe we'll call it, uh, we'll call it, no, um, we're going to call it Freedom City. Yeah, we're going to call it Freedom City, uh, in which we will oppress our people to no end. Yes. Uh, okay. Next. Now we need to uh, select our loadout. Um, now, uh, we don't really want, uh, we need a fuel refinery, we need a moisture vaporator, we won't take a sterling generator. As tempting as they are, uh, we have lots of metals early on and we can, and enough polymers that we can, uh, you know, we can, we can get things uh, going with just, um, uh, solar and uh, batteries, right? Um, I'm not going to take a drone hub right away. I am going to take two fuel refineries, though. Um, and an RC commander, right? And... Uh, We're going to, I'll take no polymers initially, only five machine parts. I think that's all we actually need. And uh, I'll take 10 electronics because I want to build six sensor towers. Uh, and that's just to get warnings on, uh, okay, now if we go back into prefab buildings, take a second one of those. Uh, so two vaporators and two refineries will give us maximum fuel production, right? Uh, and that's kind of what I what I want there. Well, we could fit a drone hub, but we've got uh, uh, okay. So what? Um, uh, six drones is fine. Uh, we definitely need the RC commander. Um, what else? Uh, well. Uh, if we take 10 machine parts, yeah, um, orbital probes, um, you know, uh, they're not nearly as useful as you might think, so, um, 
I'm going to take extra machine parts and polymers. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so that's the maximum uh, loadout we can do here. Okay, I'm going to call in a supply pod immediately uh, to bring in some other stuff. So don't panic about me not having what I need here. Um, it's, uh, it's not... Uh, uh, it, it's not actually uh, 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 poorly thought out. Um, so we go next. And now we need to select our uh, location. Um, so that's going to be 41 North, 111 West. Um, and that's our, um, our, our standard difficult one. Uh, now, interestingly, the uh, difficulty rating uh, on... Uh, the without below and beyond has dropped to 1065 at this location. Uh, and I think it's because of the some changes to the map. Uh, okay. So uh, that brings us to 1165 and that is our max difficulty. So that is where we're going to start. We got all our threats set to max. It's mountainous, it's cold, uh, right. So we're way up here. Okay. So we will start. And that is uh, uh, getting things going. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is pause. Futurist. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, so we'll pause it. Uh, now, uh, there are uh, various locations we could start. But the pre-scanned one, which has uh, 413 concrete and 513 rare metals and a vista, is actually about as good as it gets. I'm pretty sure there's water nearby as well. But before we get started here, I'm going to grab a supply pod. And we're going to grab an explorer which takes up a whole supply pod. But we want the explorer uh, so that we can uh, explore anomalies. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll launch that. And uh, we'll go in here, uh, supply pod, and we will grab a drone hub prefab. And is there something else in here? No. Um, back, um, right. I think we probably want to grab a couple of, uh, more of these. No. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Hmm. No. Machine parts is what's going to kill us if we don't have them. Uh, so. Um, yeah, you can always use more drones too. So we'll launch that. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to want. Uh, I'm going to land the rocket and then uh, uh, I'm going to land the rocket right here. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go into research and I'm going to actually select something. Um, so we've got uh, autonomous sensor towers, right? Um, I'm looking for uh, transport. Uh, decommission protocol would probably be good. Okay, so none of the really good, te the really cool early techs are uh, open. Um, I think I want to uh, open up the recon and expansion tree relatively early, but there's a. Uh, uh, well, uh, definitely I want that one. Uh, 
because uh, better transports is good. Um, we definitely want decommission protocol. Um, subsurface heating uh, is worth researching. But I also want to get down here so I can find farms. And we'll do subsurface. Okay. And I've, I've queued those up so that uh, if we, when we uh, uh, end up uh, uh, taking some science. Uh, okay, we'll uh, scan the uh, stuff uh, down that way. Okay. And uh, now we can let our rocket land. Our supply pods are coming. And uh, yeah, uh, so we've got 106 metals in our uh, starting uh, sector on the surface. So, so that's uh, something. Okay, so our RC commander is going to serve as a drone hub. Uh, as is the rocket until it's time to uh, launch. Now, uh, what we're going to uh, drop down here, I'm going to pause it while I do that. I'm going to drop down some depots. Uh, and I'm going to put them over here. Uh, metals. Uh, concrete. Uh, polymers. Uh, electronics, uh, machine parts, and um, and then we'll put a fuel depot, say, some distance away, um, say over here, right? And what we're going to do also is queue uh, uh, up a, uh, a concrete extractor, which will go. We want. The, we're going to put our dome here, so uh, we're going to put the. Uh, uh, So we'll put it here. Bam. Okay. Uh, we need that. Okay. And then I'm going to also plunk down the uh, fuel refineries. No. And I'm doing what I'm doing here. Uh, right. Um, no, I'll put them over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, two. Okay. Yep. Then we take, uh, go in here, uh, we're going to need pipes, like that, and then we need the vaporators. So we'll put one here, yep, bam, and... Uh, here. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, pipe that together. Okay. Now we need power. And we're going to start that out with um, solar. Is it solar we're going to start with? 
Yeah, it's solar because we have... Um, okay, so if we do this, and then this, and then this, we don't need any power cables, uh, which is kind of what I'm going for there. So that's 15 power. Uh, and then we need... So we need five, uh, ten, okay, okay, uh, we're going to need probably, uh, one, two, so that's 30 power, right? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so that's uh, uh, a little bit here, and now we can let things, uh, no, we'll, we'll move this guy over here, right? Um, okay, so while that's going on, uh, no, uh, let's look in here. Now, uh, we've got uh, several um, uh, mission goals, right? Uh, research to breakthrough text that's trivial we won't have any issues doing that uh, we've got uh, uh, land a colonist by on uh, Mars by Sol 15 that is going to be the real challenge actually um, because we only bring one rocket and uh, if we didn't have to, and if we weren't gonna if I'm if I decide not to go for that then I can do the research and uh, uh, get the expanded uh, rocket capacity so we can bring, uh, I think it, uh, that it allows us to bring, so a rocket is normally 14, uh, and there's one that allows it to go, uh, that increases it by 20. Um, and another that increases it by 10, I think. So that would allow us to bring 40 some, uh, 40 odd uh, colonists in the initial wave. That makes things a lot easier, let me tell you. Um, but we're going to try for the land of colonists on Mars by Sol 15. That is, in fact, why I went for the uh, two uh, fuel uh, refineries and the, um, the uh, two vaporators, uh, so we can refuel the rocket faster. Uh, analyze 30 map anomalies, we'll eventually get that. Uh, and that's a new rocket, that's a useful reward. Constructing a megadome is a late game thing, and uh, that's easy to do. Uh, it just, once we're in the late game, we can just tick that off. And nine breakthrough techs gets us 3,000 in funding. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back here. Right. Now, there's one more thing we need to build, uh, and that's a couple of batteries, uh, which I'll put over here. Uh, now, those need concrete to build, so uh, this needs to get up and running. Uh, so I'm going to uh, up the tempo, and then we can watch things happen here. Um, meanwhile, our uh, uh, supply pods are on their way. Um, okay, and uh, the refineries are, are up. They have no power yet because this, uh, the solar panels haven't been constructed yet. Um, uh, they will be uh, shortly though. Um, okay, uh, and uh, the concrete extractor is uh, coming online, right? Uh, good, no power. Uh, we got to build the, uh, yeah, we got to collect the metals from the surface of the planet here and uh, build our uh, uh, solar panels and our uh, supply pods have uh, arrived uh, so we will land those 
Yeah, there we go. And uh, we can get metals out of these as well. Uh, so the 100 million for supply pods uh, also gets us five metal uh, when the pods arrive. Um, okay, so uh, meanwhile, uh, the solar panels will go up. And by Sol 2, we should have everything operating. And uh, I will set the concrete extractor not to work at night. Uh, saves us uh, five power overnight. But the vaporators and the fuel refineries need to. Uh, and that's uh, definitely uh, important. Um, so the batteries will get up on... Uh, uh, we'll get the batteries uh, operational on... Uh, Soul three, oh, it's two here, and Soul three. We should start. Uh, we should be producing fuel now. Yeah, uh, five power. Yeah, five power. Okay, so now we're plus twenty-five power, and uh, when the uh, concrete comes in, we need two concrete for each of these. Yeah, so with the concrete coming in, uh, the batteries will now start charging. Okay, and that is basically what we need them to do. Um, okay, meanwhile, we are collecting stuff. Um, we, have, we have both batteries up, so uh, the fuel production will continue overnight uh, this night. Now, uh, there's one more thing we need to get uh, constructed, and that's our sensor towers. Um, uh, let's uh, stick one here. Now, normally, you, uh, if you're min-maxing, you'd spread these around a bit. I am not building them to speed up sector scanning. I am building them to uh, give me additional notice of... Um, uh, incoming disasters. Uh, so six of them is the maximum that you benefit from doing that. So I'm going to build six of them. Uh, that will give us a little over three souls warning of a disaster. Uh, you know, uh, that is uh, basically uh, the, the important bit there. Um, right. And now we are producing concrete. We have we are producing fuel, um, right? Uh, and uh, what I uh, am going to do is also uh, probably I should uh, I'm going to drop down a uh, water tower, which I can. Uh, drop in right here. Yeah, I'll drop in a water tower as well. Um, right. Oh, it's not going to fill up with anything initially, but uh, I'll drop it in. And uh, Okay, so now uh, if we pop out here, we have scanned a sector we're scanning others. Uh, we're going to scan down this way. Uh, next time around, I'll... Whoops. I'll... Uh, oh, we have an anomaly. Uh, and it is research progress. So, uh, I'll just queue that up. Queue the scan up on that. That's why I brought the... Uh, the uh, Explorer, right? Um... So that uh, will do its thing. But meanwhile, I'm going to put the end of the part here. We've got, we've just landed. We're on Sol 3, just about through Sol 3. Uh, the rocket is uh, 12, what, 40%? Uh, yeah, about 38% uh, refueled. We need to send this back to Earth ASAP. Uh, that's absolutely critical. We send the rocket back to Earth as soon as possible. Uh, because we need it, because it's going to take three souls or so to get there. 
then we collect our uh, colonists and another three souls to get back and we need so we need this to be launched by about soul eight and it looks like we'll probably get there um because these guys are producing 12 fuel per soul uh so that's 24 and we need 50 so two more souls and the rocket should be full and we can launch it in the meantime uh, we need to set about building our dome and uh, that'll be the project for next time around so uh so i guess like comment subscribe you know all that business right and uh yeah the uh, uh dislike thing it's still there so if you want to go ahead and the uh uh bell yeah uh you could turn that on it uh, probably gives you some notifications of new videos you might find that useful or not entirely up to you, of course. Um, anyway, uh, that's all for now. So see you back next time.